today we're gonna break in this brand new Ruger SFAR 308. Uh, I have not fired it at all, and I've got a variety of different ammo. I'm gonna put some regular 762, the cheap Russian stuff through it. I've got some 308s, some hunting rounds that I'm primarily gonna be using, and then I got some generic aluminum case stuff that I'm gonna see if I can't force it to jam, put it through the, I don't wanna say force it to jam, but you know, give it the, pretty much the, the true test because that stuff doesn't cycle for a crap. Uh, we'll see how many uh, failures we have to cycle and all of this, will you'll see every single shot. I've got 70 shots that I'm gonna show you. So. Right in the middle of the chest. three. A little loud without the other ones. Gonna try these uh, 308s, the Power Shock 150 greens. These are likely what I'm gonna be hunting with. Oh, that's in the right, right above the bullseye. That's a nice one. That's a nice trigger. Boy, it's a light. All right. Now the major difference, one, but the major difference between what you what your this rounds that you're shooting right now, and what you shot before, is all of your brass ended up right down in the same spot. That's consistent. That's that's a, that's a consistent round. So like the other brass, you know, was all over the place. I'll take it. I'm gonna pump off the last of these 10 so six more and then I'm going to shoot at the the head of that target with these uh, aluminum casings and we'll see the inconsistency in ammo six rounds with a fairly quick quick shooting recycling and accuracy Now we've got your cheap. I think these are wolves. Yeah, wolves. Either the, the wolves or the true blue or whatever those 
orange and black box. this uh, mag right away. The mag fits. Slam it up in there. Hit the fits bottom of it hard. Does not like that mag. Oh, totally different primer. Yep. A little bit of uh, silver bullet for the werewolf. <laughs> Should we make a bet on how many jam ups with them? I don't want it because I have no freaking idea. I would I would probably say I'd get two or three would be my guess. Um, it, it look at how much friction it, it takes to move these. Like I just can't see these pushing out efficiently. I wanna like move them. Yeah. I mean if it cycles these. I, I would say it's going to cycle anything. At the head, see what kind of consistency they have. Jammed in there. Jam behind the bolt. Pull it and lock it back. Yep, you jammed a round on top of a round. That's not a good thing. No, sure isn't. That's what I'm trying to make a jam. back and check. Nope, you got one underneath there. Looks like, no. Something's... Nope. Ah. Right. How, how come that didn't stay locked back when you fired your last one? Don't know. It should. It did the last times. Yep. Let's try these. There's three here. Junkers, don't use those. Here's some more 
7.62s. I'm going to just throw uh, four of them down range just to uh, focus on the cycling here. So there's 10 in there. Maybe I'll take some standing shots. After shooting 70 rounds, I'm pretty pleased with uh, cycling. As you saw, we tried to jam it up with some crappy ammo, which we we're successful in using the uh, normal full metal jacket, uh, aluminum or, uh, brass casings, anything in the brass, a 308 Federal. Uh, we've had zero cycling issues, so I know people have had bad luck with this rifle. And I would say the first 70 shots, I'm, I'm pretty happy.